Hello everyone, welcome back to ICT class. Today we are going to see fun with windows. So, so what is fun with windows it means? So what is window it means? So window is the operating system which helps our computer to work better. Okay. So with the help of windows that is with the help of operating system only whatever instruction we are giving to the computer it can understand and operating system acts as an interface and it makes our machine that is our computer to work. So, that is the end motive of our operating system. Okay. So, operating system is nothing but a user interface that is it acts as a bridge between user and a computer. So, we are the user and to the computer it makes a task easier. So, with the help of operating system that is operating system is nothing but a set of instruction or a set of program which makes computer task easier. So, it helps a computer to do its work better. Okay. So, that is the motive of operating system and this window is the operating system. Okay. So, window it was developed by Microsoft. Okay. Okay. This window is most widely used hence we are learning it today. So, other than window we have several operating systems available like uh, Linux, DOS, and uh, we have Apple, so Apple that is iOS, so all these things are different types of operating system that is available nowadays. So when we switch on our system, that is when we switch on our computer or a laptop, we will be landing in a page. So what is that page means? It is the desktop, that is the main screen, that is opening screen of your windows. Okay. So, this windows that is your desktop contains a picture, a background picture and we will be having a set of icons and at the bottom we will be having a taskbar. So, the taskbar contains start menu and a group of icons that is pinged in, in your taskbar and at the rightmost corner we have a date, time. So, all these things will be available when you open your computer right. So, what is this desktop? Desktop is the opening screen of your computer ok. So, this desktop have a image and that image is called as wallpaper that is the background image of the desktop is called as wallpaper ok. We can customize this wallpaper. So, how can we customize it? So, if we click the right click of the empty area in the desktop. So, you will be having option called personalize. By clicking the personalize you can choose this wallpaper whichever you need. So, by clicking that by choosing that you can reset your wallpaper ok. When I show that in my system it will be more clear for you ok. Next thing is if you want to change the screen saver. So, what is the difference between wallpaper and screen saver? So, screen saver I hope you might have seen in your mobile also. If your mobile is not used for so long time your wallpaper will be changed into some other image that is your screen saver. So, similarly if your laptop or a machine if computer if that is not used for a so long time that is if it is kept idle it is powered on but it is not used for long time. So, in that case it will automatically change and some automatically some image will be coming will be appearing in your screen right. So, that is called a screen saver. You can right click it, right click the empty area of your desktop. So, in that you will be having an option called personalize. By clicking that you can just reset the screen saver. Change your that is your wallpaper with the help of by right clicking you need to select personalize option. So, if you select that it will show you a list of wallpapers that are available. So, you can just choose it from it. So, can you able to see the list of wallpapers that are available? So, either you can choose it. So, can you able to see the list of wallpaper that the wallpaper got changed? Okay. So, that is what I have chosen that and I have saved it. So, if you want to cha change my screen saver, so I can just select it. So, again I am just changing my screen saver. So, can you able to see this? I am just changing my screen saver by just clicking ribbon. So, I can I can click photo also, but photo should have some image for making it as screen saver. But here I, since I do not have I just click it as ribbon ok. So, the next topic that we are going to see is changing the mouse pointer. So, usually our mouse pointer will be of arrow type ok. So, if you want to change, if you want to customize your mouse pointer, how do we do that? 
so that can be done by right clicking your desktop if you right click your desktop you will be having an option of personalize so again if you click that personalize you will be having an option for changing your mouse pointer okay so by choosing the pointer shape whichever you need you can select that and you can change your mouse pointer okay so the next topic that we are going to see is fun with gadget so gadgets such as calculator calendar so again i'm just right clicking it and i'm going to change my mouse pointer so you can able to see the option change mouse pointer and then i'm selecting i'm just selecting help so i can choose any mouse pointer based on my need so that depends okay so i have just chosen one so i have just chosen the arrow with the question mark so i just chosen that okay so now my mouse pointer is also changed the calendar clock will be available and will be saved will be grouped as a gadget okay so if you want that gadget to appear so what you need to do you need to again you need to right click your desktop and click gadget so your gadget menu will appear you need to double click the gadget to get it in your desktop so if you want if you want this gadget in your desktop at the time you just want to double click it okay so how do we how we can take that gadget you can you need to right click the empty area of the desktop so after right clicking it you will be having an option called gadget so from gadget menu you need to select the gadget whichever you want so after selecting it you need to double click it so that it will be appearing in your desktop so this is the way we can uh, include this gadget in our desktop so gadget is nothing but a calendar clock that is available okay okay so next i'm going to add gadget so gadget if i click that right click if i click that the, this will show you the list of gadgets that are available so if i want to add my calendar if i just click it double click it so that will be added to my screen so can you able to see this so that has added to my screen so this is the need of this is the use of gadget okay so after that i'm just closing it so next we'll see what are windows accessories so what is this accessory it means accessory is nothing but some useful program that is there in our computer okay so what are that useful program it means it means like our calculator like snipping tool so all these things that are available in, inside our system in all system so which is used for some general purpose things so calculator everyone we use right so those are the general purpose tools that are available in our computer okay so if you want to open calculator so how do we do that so again you need to click start button you need to choose all program from all program you need to select accessories from accessories you can select calculator okay so this is the way we choose calculator okay so calculator is used to perform some calculation like addition subtraction multiplication so all kind of operation can be done with the help of calculator next we are going to see about accessories for that start all programs accessories so in that accessories first i am choosing calculator so this accessories have list of accessories that first i am choosing calculator so this calculator is used to perform some calculations right so i am just giving some number and just i am doing multiplication so can you able to see the multiplication after multiplication the result has been displayed so the next accessory that we are going to see is a sticky notes so what is the use of this sticky notes if you have some list of to do list that is some things that you need to do so what you will do you will note it somewhere you will write it in a piece of paper so instead of doing that you can note it in a sticky notes so sticky note where do we have it is available inside our accessories that is start menu all program accessories so inside accessory we have sticky note so you can choose the sticky notes and you can you can type the whatever thing that you need to store there okay so here you can type the to do list you can type phone number so all these things can be stored inside the sticky note so whenever if you feel power on your system your power on your computer the sticky notes will appear in the desktop itself okay so again i'm going to accessories 
for selecting sticky notes. So here can you able to see this. So in this I have selected the sticky notes. So here I can type whatever I want that is my to do list can be typed here. Okay. So I can type something. So I can type whatever I want. Okay. So the next accessory that we are going to see is a snipping tool. So why do we need snipping tool? If you want to capture some portion of your screen and if you want to save it as a snip at the time we use this snipping tool that is you can capture that portion of your screen and you can save it as a picture. So this will be saved in the form of picture. So that is why we use this snipping tool. Okay. So this is the use of snipping tool. So how do we how we can open the snipping tool? Again the same thing start menu all programs from accessories you can choose snipping tool. So this is the way you need to open snipping tool. So after that again I am going to accessories. Now again I am going to select snipping tool. So I have selected snipping tool. So after selecting it, there is option for free form snip, rectangular snip, window snip, full screen snip. But I am just selecting rectangular snip. So can you able to see this? Only that particular portion will be saved as a snip that is as an image. Okay, so that is the use of snipping tool. I am saving it as image. Okay. So that is the use of snipping tool. The next topic that we are going to see is playing games in computer. So how do we play games? How we can open game? So again if you have a windows operating system, windows have some inbuilt games to your computer. Okay. So how, how can we open that? Again start all program and from all program you need to select game and after selecting that you will be having a list of games that is available in your system. So you need to choose that and you can play games. Okay. I hope everyone are doing that but anyway I am saying it. Okay. All the data whatever data you are giving into your computer will be stored in the form of file. Okay. So all this file all this related file will club together and will put it in a folder. Okay, so what is the folder? Folder is a collection of files. So what is the file? File is a data that we store in our computer. Okay, so this is the difference between file and folder. So if you want to create a new folder, how do we create them? Just we need to right click. So after right clicking it, you will be having option called new. From new, after clicking that, you will be option, having an option called folder. After selecting that folder, a new folder will be created. So you can give name also. So how we can rename it? Just by right clicking the created folder, we can rename it. Okay. And also you can create a new file. So similarly, you can create a new folder also. So for creating new, what do we need to do? Again, you need to right click some empty area and after right clicking it, you will be having an option called new. And after that, if you click that new, you will be having a sub menu. In that sub menu, you need to click. If you want to create a text file, then you need to create text document. So after clicking that, a text document will be created. So after a new file is created, if you want to rename it, again you can right click and you can rename it. Okay. Or else if you are just clicking it, you will be having a cursor with that you can rename your file. Then again I am going to new and if I want to create my new folder, I need to right click and create new folder. So I just renaming it, I am just giving it as demo. So if I double click it, my folder got open, I want to create a new file for that. I am just selecting new text document and I am just renaming it as demo file. So here I can give whatever text I want. Okay. So this is just renaming. Again, if I want to create a subfolder, then again I am creating a new folder within my main folder. Okay. 
so this is my subfolder so i'm just renaming renaming it as subdemo so can you able to see this is my text document and this is my subfolder and this is my main folder i can just rename by right clicking and doing rename option also okay so that is also possible so let us move on to the exercise that we have so uh, please take page number 39 in that match the following desktop background is called wallpaper so you need to uh, you need to mark it to wallpaper the gadget to show the time on your desktop is clock so you need to mark it to clock to write a list of things you can use so that for noting a list of thing which uh, accessory we use we use sticky notes so you need to mark it to sticky notes to capture an area on the screen you can use so for this which tool we use we use snipping tool so you need to mark it to snipping tool okay next fill in the blanks dash is a software program that appears on a computer screen when computer is not being used so which is which appears when computer is not being used that is our screen saver okay so screen saver is a software program which automatically comes when computer is not being used okay so you need to write it as screen saver calculator and uh, clock are the examples of dash in windows 7 so in windows 7 calculator and clock are the examples of gadgets okay we can use dash to write down a to do list on the desktop so for writing a to do list on the desktop which tool we use we use sticky notes okay so you need to write sticky notes here the screen saver is found in the dash option of the desktop menu so in desktop menu where do we find screen saver in personalize okay in personalize option we find screen saver so you need to write personalize to open the calculator so which is the order to open the calculator so first step is you need to click start menu and after clicking start menu you need to click all program from all program you need to click accessories from accessories you need to click calculator so this is the way you need to open your calculator so you need to just number them to add a sticky notes on a on a desktop which uh, how we can add a sticky notes start program so you need to click start menu and after clicking start menu you need to choose all program after choosing all program you need to select accessories from accessories you need to choose sticky notes okay to play a game in the computer so for that uh, how we can choose game in the computer so again you need to click start menu and you need to choose all program from all program you need to choose game okay so this is the way we use we used to open game in our computer okay write t for two and f for false okay files are shown as icon on the computer that is true okay all files are displayed as icon in the computer okay so that is true there can be many folders in a file that is false there can be many files in a folder okay so that is false the paint program is an example of gadget no that is false to use the calculator we have to go to accessory folder yeah that is correct so you need to write two that is t to change mouse pointer setting we adjust the button on the mouse no you should not adjust button on the mouse you need to just right click desktop so you, there you'll be having a personalized option with that only will be say doing it right so that is a wrong one so you need to write it as f okay i hope it is clear to you all now let's move on to our fun time activity that we have at page number 41 and this is a homework for you guys so uh, find in that b1 find and circle the following feature of windows 7 in the word search grid so you have given following feature so and then here you have a grid also so this feature is available in this grid grid and you need to choose it and you need to mark it so this is a homework for you guys you need to do this at home i hope fun with windows chapter is clear to you all kindly go through your text and we'll see you in the next class